So today we will be dissecting a lily flower, which you can see right here. We also have a pair of tweezers and a pair of scissors just in case we need those. So we're gonna start off by looking at the leaf on the flower right here, which grows laterally and uh, is manufactured through photosynthesis. So now onto the larger structure, which is this right here, we will look at the sepal. Now, the sepal on a lot of flowers is typically green colored. However, on a lily, they look very similar to the petals. The difference is the sepal is the part of the outer ring of the flower, which acts as a protector prior to when the lily buds and when it's in bloom. So it's just these outer parts right here. And then these inner parts are the um, petals. So I will go ahead and remove the sepals. As you can see, I'm just gonna put them right there. Okay, so sorry, I'm gonna also just remove this leaf just so it's out of my way. So now we are left with the petals, which again, bear a striking similarity to the sepal. And in fact, the petals use their visual elements to attract insects for pollination. So, as you can see, they are very similar. However, these are the inner part and you can kind of see the difference between the two. It's, it's very hard to tell, especially on camera. But anyway, so I'm gonna remove the petals Okay, so now we are left with the anther and the filament. So the anther is this brown bulb-like feature at the top, and it is what produces the pollen. And the filament is the thread-like stalk that supports the anther. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all of those. Okay, once all of those have been removed, we are left with the pistil, which is the female reproductive part of the lily. Um, at the top of the pistil, we have the stigma, which is this tiny little sticky bulb right here. And it is what receives pollen and where the fertilization process begins. So I'm just going to cut that off very carefully. And it is sticky, so I'm just gonna take my tweezers just to grab it and set it aside. Once that has been removed, we have the style, which is the stalk that supports the sigma and connects to the ovaries right here. So I will just go ahead and remove that quickly. Okay, and then we will move the style over. And then we are left with the ovary, which houses the egg cells and it's where seeds are produced. So you can see, and I will just cut that off with a little stock part right here. That is the ovary. So as a little review here, I just wanna show that we have the sepal, the petals, the stamen, which has the anther right here and the filament right here, the leaf, the stigma, the style, and the ovary. And that is the anatomy of a lily flower.